recently someone asked me they really want to get into the space of mm -hmm. creating content online mm -hmm. starting the online business and the, the, the question they asked is like do i have to show my face no. <laughs> <They> <laughs> i get that answer. a lot of times i mean there is there is people who actually create content without showing their face depending on the niche you're in but yes. generally you do want to show your face i want to know who i want to purchase something from mm -hmm. so with that being said just to clear that out of the way yes you can do it without showing your face but i'm not going to buy it from someone if i don't know them that post up I, I sent you which one uh it was that one where um the uh the that guy had commented on my post i sent it in a group text with you me and steve mm, no oh here it is yeah queenie saw it she was like yo <laughs> this guy yes paul getter oh 2.1 million yeah um yeah oh wow that's yeah. awesome yeah right blew That's my cool. hair blew my hair back i was like oh snap my eyebrows disappeared into my hairline it just <laughs> so what's up with you queenie how's Not your much. weekend been my week you know i can never remember my week <laughs> <laughs> it goes by too but fast it, 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 it i don't know it just flew by yeah but it was good i'm guessing it was good <laughs> and how was your vacation dave i mean it was excellent Awesome. So give, 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 give us a quick rundown. Tell us about your vacation uh, real, real quick. Monday went up to Lewis's house. Uh -huh. And then from Lewis's, we went to Bush Gardens, but then my son didn't want to go. What? Then, yeah, he wants to do it for his birthday. So we went to the hotel. Uh -huh. uh, then, what was it? Wednesday, we went to Universal. Uh -huh. All three of us got on rides, except for Star. She didn't want to get on it. What? And then Thursday, Star went on a lot of rides, so it was pretty good. Uh, but the 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 uh, Velasco coaster, oh, I think it's awesome, awesome. Yeah, I heard you. I saw you talking about that on this group text we're on. Uh, uh, you bro. went on how many times? Once, but then I went on a uh, rocket roller coaster. It goes straight up, uh -huh. completely straight up. And it just drops you. <laughs> I don't like roller coasters. I hate roller coasters. You don't like but roller my... coasters either, we, Queen? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like them. But my son, it was either my wife going, and we're scared because she'll have a seizure on the uh, on the thing. So we're like, yeah. eh. So I'll go by myself. I was uh, like, you can't do that. I'll go with you. She went with I'll... you? I No. Gray and I went together. Uh -huh. And we got on the... As soon as the thing came down, I was fine. As soon as the thing came down for the Velocity Coaster, yeah. All this stuff was coming out. I was going to throw up everything. What? And the thing just started to finally take off. And then it took off. And it was just so wicked fast. It was crazy. Have you been on it? Me? No. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, it's been, what, shoot. The last time we went to Bush Gardens. No, Benaya, Universal. Universal? Oh, yeah. But now it was probably like two, maybe three. Like he, he he don't even remember. Like he looked at me with a chicken bone hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He's like he heard his name. He's like what? What? Hey, dude, when you get an opportunity, give me some water, please. And, and wipe your hands. I don't want greasy water when you bring it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I I just thought about the whole water thing. But yeah, man, that that's awesome. I'm glad you got a chance to be. And I got burnt. This man, guys, you need to understand. David never stops work he literally went to go see one of our friends that he actually worked with just to talk about work i guarantee mm -hmm. we talked about work <laughs> he was working on vacation this is the hardest working man i've ever seen and this i don't want to keep doing that anymore well this is why we need to le learn you on how to make passive games for life but is that steve yeah what did he say he got back from charlottesville a little while ago uh and i got things to get ready for no he's not making it he's no. got to get stuff ready for tomorrow not a problem not a problem well hey the train has already left the station so let's do a quick recap last week we spoke with reuben and he talked us we we talked a lot about content we kind of wrapped up the 
that little bit of content. Onyx, get off of me. We, <laughs> we wrapped up the dog. We wrapped up the uh, content is king part of the episode. This is actually episode number 20. 20? We've been doing this for 20 episodes. Wow. Right? The, the, the most people quit after episode six. But episode number 20, we're still here. And this is the last episode in our asset series. So we're going to be moving from asset series and we're going to be starting right back over at mindset because you can never have too much mindset. Queenie can't wait to do the mindset <laughs> series. She's like, oh, man, what's up? We need to do this mindset. And I got to get better at doing this whole thing. Hold on right quick. Yeah, wait. All right. So now that the camera's on me fully, yeah, I got control of this screen right now. Can't nobody do it like me. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> let me stop playing. So, yeah. So we wrapped up with talking about content. Now we're going to be moving on to lead generation. So Queenie and I, we've been kind of working back and forth this week. We're going to be bringing some stuff to you guys around April. We don't want to like say the date right about now, but we're definitely going to be dropping some information that's going to help everybody. No matter what level you are, you'll be able to take this information and apply it to what you have going on right now. So with that, we want to talk about lead generation so i'm gonna let you go ahead and lead us off lead generation or lead magnet where you want to start Who? me me oh queenie oh <laughs> i was like i don't know anything about that <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Dave, dave's like me I, I i just work here i don't know anything about this Hold so on, yeah um Oh, there's so much to talk about when it comes to lead and lean generation. Um, but where do you want us to start first, like kick off? Oh, um, start. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's start with lead generation because lead generation, it, you know what? Let's cover lead generation because that, that goes in. No. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to make up my mind lead generation let's start with that and then we can work into lead magnets okay 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 so okay <laughs> <laughs> there's so much going on in my head right now i'm just trying to yeah, don't worry. put everything no. together so lead generation so i guess the one question a lot of people have is how do we generate leads mm -hmm. when you come back <laughs> <laughs> We good? My what? bad. My bad. There, there I'm sorry. Go. I'm sorry. Okay, listen. I tried to do it like incognito. My my wonderful, wonderful dog here jumps up on the couch, then forgets that he can jump up there, but he can't <laughs> jump down. So he'll what? jump there and then start barking for no reason other than the fact that, hey, somebody get me down. So it's so annoying. So I'm brushing my teeth this morning. It's like 4.30. And this fool is out here. I, 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 I. My wife is like, why is he barking? I'm like, I don't know. He's, he's here. I don't, I don't know. I go out here. He's on this couch where that pillow is, like barking at the top of his lungs. I am so sorry. But that, you know, this, this is the kind of stuff that happens. You know, when you do, <laughs> running a podcast as a as a family man with with you know life, it's, it's good happening. though. It's all good. Yeah, I completely missed everything you said, Queenie, because I yanked off my headphone to, to, and I never got a chance to actually take him off the couch. I said, well, "You get your little silly butt down." He jumps off. Get him the ladder. I got a ladder for my dog. Ain't getting a dog, <laughs> dog on ladder. He could he could jump <laughs> over these couches if he wanted to. This dog. I'm tired of the barking. Mine that, mine does the same thing. Man, that dog. I mean, he just got, wanted your attention. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I don't need to pay him attention because I'm about to write him a reality check. <laughs> 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 go ahead, Queenie. I'm sorry. I, go go ahead. I completely missed everything you said. Go ahead, no, run it back. No, you're good. I didn't really say much. I was talking about the one question people have yeah. when it comes to it is how do I generate leads for my business? Yes. So that's the number one question. And 
there is different ways to generate leads. Mm -hmm. One, I always think about <clears throat> a physical store, right? Mm -hmm. If you literally, if you have a physical store, okay, how you generate leads because leads turn to sale, right? Mm -hmm. And in order to get sale, people need to walk into your store to browse what you have. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do we get people in there? I mean, a lot of people pop signs, they do promotions, they advertise, so that the way they could draw people with sorry, my phone vibrate. Let me turn it off the table. <laughs> so that way they could draw people within this store, right? Uh -huh. And then when persons are the browse, then eventually they say, Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a purchase. And that's how they turn leads into sale. Right now, when it comes to online, because right now we're online, we're trying to figure out, okay, we run an online business, we're trying to figure out how do we generate leads. Yeah. Simple. There is two main ways to generate leads when you have an online business. One, organic. When we talk, okay, what do you mean by organic? I mean, yeah. using yeah. social media. <laughs> yeah. It's free. Literally, using social media to mm -hmm. create content. And there's where short form content comes in. It's so important to create content to draw people to your page and eventually to that link, which leads to your website. Hmm. Um, the okay. next one is paid advertisement. If you have the money, go ahead and do it. <laughs> yeah. If you're now starting off, then social media is your best, is your best bet. Okay. okay. So let me ask you this then. So with organic, what, what, so, cause most people get turned off when they hear you like, wait, you want me to pay for something? Wait, you honestly want me to spend money to make money? This ain't that kind of party, right? So most people get turned off by that. And so let's explore this whole organic thing. So when you say organic short form content, what goes into that? Okay. There's a lot to it. Like I love that face. <laughs> <there. It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm trying to figure out where to start and how to break it down. Um, yeah. Recently, someone asked me, they really want to get into the space of mm -hmm. creating content online, mm -hmm. starting the online business. And the, the, the question they asked is like, do I have to show my face? Nah. <laughs> they <laughs> I get that a lot of times. I mean, there is there is people who actually create content without showing their face, depending on the niche you're in. But yes. generally, you do want to show your face. I want to know who I go and purchase something from. Mm -hmm. and so with that being said, just to clear that out of the way, yes, you can do it without showing your face, but I'm not going to buy from someone if I don't know them. Yeah. Know, like, and trust, right? Mm -hmm. I want to know who I buy from and follow you for a period of time before I actually trust you to pull out my card to actually mm -hmm. purchase something, right? So you have to keep yep. that in mind. That's why it's really important to show your face, not just your face, your personality as well. So mm -hmm. when, when it comes to creating content, you want to be you. Mm -hmm. Don't try to copy nobody. You can get inspired by all means but you want to be you when it comes to creating content especially on different platforms <laughs> so if you're on yeah. tiktok you're for sure you don't need any clean background you just show up as yourself because people want to see you mm -hmm. and then you tell your story depending on the niche you're in depending on the product you're promoting whatever it is you just create content around that product around your lifestyle incorporating the product in it and that's how you will have people curious to know, okay, what is she doing? I people reach out, people reaching out to me. Oh my goodness, I hear your accent. You're from the Caribbean. <laughs> I'm like, yes. And they're interested. What are you doing? Um, I'm interested in this. And I, just for me being myself and showcasing what I'm doing and how it's in um how it's benefiting me. Yes. Yeah. Huh, trying it, to get it, relatable too with people. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And build that relationship that you know that trust like you said mm -hmm. and then yeah it just comes natural i guess then from that point on yeah for sure yeah it, it, it definitely uh helps uh so this week i've been like insanely active in creating content uh, don't make it sound so your content is bomb <laughs> <laughs> it is and you need to hype yeah. Up, okay, <laughs> yeah, hey, I love your content. That's not, yeah, he's really say. good. I don't want to be on here and be like, so you, oh, you need to toot content. your own horn. <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 no. I, I have so much to learn. So, Queenie True. was like gaming me, she was like, Yo, just make some content and put it out there. 
So I put it out there, and she was like, nah, you're doing too much. And I'm like, but I, what, what do I do? She was like, where are your captions? No, how she where are your captions? <laughs> <laughs> you're not using cut. Wait, cut. <laughs> I thought the captions were, uh, oh, the captions, never mind. I thought yeah. that was like, uh, you know, the little text crap that comes on the yeah. I thought that's yeah. the, the closed caption, but I thought they can turn that on manually. Well, no, okay, so it depends on what you're using. So Queenie schooled me to the game and she was like, hey, look, I use Wondershare, but you also got to use CapCut. For anybody that's like looking at this and you've seen my content and if you like it, Queenie thinks it's good. David thinks it's all right. You know, I think that's no, good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> no, nah, let me stop. Yeah, it is good. I, I look at it sometimes. I go, oh, and I got a quick story to tell you about that. But yeah, CapCut helps with the content. I mean, it really does help with the, uh, the I said content, but the, uh, the captions. The captions really bring alive, like, whatever it is that you're talking about. Because I found out that a lot of people watch, uh, what is it, uh, your shorts or social media on mute. They, they don't even listen to the sound. They'll just be like, captions. Oh, reading it? Okay. Yeah. And it's like, wait a minute. These are the same people that don't want to watch Japanese anime because they got subtitles, but you read <laughs> subtitles. Okay, whatever. All right, then fine. I'll bite. Here. Here's the captions. All right. So I'm sitting here and um, I, I'm riding with my wife yesterday and I get a bunch of uh, Facebook messengers like, like one after another. And then uh, I look at him later on when I get home, and it's a friend of mine. Him and I met at a convenience store. He actually worked at the convenience store. And he was like, hey, man, I saw these professional videos. And I was like, oh, I know him. (laughs) It's you. (laughs) And so he's, like, approaching me like, hey, man, look, I do motivational videos. What do you use? Like, what does it sound? So just being able to sit down and create content and if it's something good people will pay attention to it if it's like off kilter and it's like disjointed you got to actually study you got to actually take the time to sit down and know what you're talking about before you talk about it right and after a while you'll begin to learn it and then you start doing it then you can teach it right so yeah. once you apply those methods, the people will show up automatically. People will just slide up in your DMs and be like, yo, what's up? Can you uh, show me how to do this? You're like, oh, my goodness. I didn't even know you was watching me. Like, <laughs> what? I didn't even know you even paid attention to me. I mean, you saw that comment that I sent you earlier. It's like, whoa, people people be looking. You, you don't know who's actually watching these things. And what happens is, and this is a part of the lead generation. I don't want you to think I'm going on the tangent here, but the lead generation process, um, you know, it starts with delivering value. See, most people, when they get, and I got my stuff over here because that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm cheating because (laughs) got to have my (laughs) notes here on the screen sometimes. So it starts with value, right? So most people want leads they're like oh i need somebody i I, I need to sell them something so they come with this energy of i need you to buy and then we automatically have that opposing energy like "Mm, nah i don't want to buy it i don't even care if it is going to work because of how they're coming at they feel pressured exactly that that pressure that 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 people can give subconsciously people can feel that when you're like trying to just, I need leads. I want a lead. Give me a lead. It's that me want honeycomb. Have y'all y'all remember that commercial? Me want honeycomb. Me want honeycomb. Oh yeah yeah. Men do this to women all the time, and women be like, oh, oh my goodness, I'm so ugh, ugh, get away from me, right? But the opposite thing happens when you just pull back and you be like, hey, this is my information. Here's what it is. This is what I'm working on. And you got that, hey, I'm just moving. And if you want to come, the train is riding. Jump on whenever you're ready. But it's still moving with or without you. When you deliver that kind of energy, like, hey, look, I'm just here to help whoever wants to be helped. I'm not here looking for a handout. 
I'm not here begging you for change. Oh, poor Timmy, I need some money, you know. But we have to come at an angle where we're actually providing value for the person. I heard Myron Golden say this. He's like, become obsessed with helping the individual solve their problem. So with lead generation, there's an order, right? You got to give value. Then you get trust. Then you can make your offer. So if you're not giving value, nobody's ever going to trust you. Like Queenie said, they got to see you to know you. And, you know, with your face, oh, I don't want to do, I don't want to use my face. Listen, this is the same face you went to the bank with this morning. It's the same <laughs> face you talk to your friends with. This is the same face that you use every day at work. And all of a sudden, you're afraid to put that face out there online. It's the same face. Matter of fact, when officers pull you over, they ask for a small version of your face. <laughs> you know? Hey, can I see your ID? You're looking at me. My name is this. Okay, I need to see your ID. Uh, the same face matches this name on this piece of paper. It, don't be afraid of using your face. It's the same thing you use every day. Now, if people are running in horror, okay. Maybe you not, may not want to use your face. And if that's you, I'm sorry, I'm not picking on you. I'm just saying, maybe you want to look into getting in the radio. But either way, <laughs> don't be afraid <laughs> to use your face, right? Look at Dave yeah. turning all red over there. He's blushing. Oh my gosh, shut up. <laughs> see, see, see. I did that purposely because Dave is always talking about his face. No, Dave just came off of vacation. If you're just now joining in on the episode, he just came off of vacation. Uh, and bacon in the sun. He's, he's got that Larry the Lobster tan. He's good. I got that D. <laughs> Vitamin D. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Queenie, this this is the side of Dave that you don't get to see too often. Trust me, you, you'll be around a lot more often to see this. It, it, nice. Get back <laughs> you know something you said just now, yes. it got me thinking. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why a lot of people don't want to show their face as well, because one, let me say for instance, with me, you know, I do affiliate marketing. Mm -hmm. This is why it's so crucial to know your product know your product know what you're going to promote for persons this is why you need to actually use the product figure it out to see if it's working for you mm -hmm. now if i don't trust something then i really don't want my face on it because i'm not really sure make mm -hmm. sense so i'm yeah. not sure why should i put out this if i'm not sure so i don't want to show my face just in case something happened mm -hmm. my face not there <laughs> and so yeah, yeah <laughs> it does come with a like an air of like hey you know reassurance that Drive the product does work risk. exactly oh, yeah. so when you actually if you're doing a fleet market when you find a product dive into it try to figure out everything about that product or services mm -hmm. so that you can be confident enough to actually go on camera and promote it because you know that this worked for you mm -hmm. you know that the morals and the standard and the value that this company holds align mm -hmm. with yours so you don't mind promoting it and so when you try to figure out that and when you know that you just become more confident to actually go on camera and to share something. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, too. If, <laughs> if, if, like you said, like if you know the product inside and out, it's going to be easy. You're going to be right on camera. This is what this does. Da, 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 da. And it's, it's, I get it. Exactly. <laughs> because I know we all have been to the movies. Uh -huh. And when we come out, like, I'm going to speak to you in here. So <laughs> you might understand. You might understand. So I, I remember growing up, come out to the movies. And then I'd be like, oh my, I don't know if I can speak to you I'd be like, oh my goodness, that movie was so good. And then I tell my friends all about the movie. Um, okay, have you seen the new Avenger? Well, the new Avenger. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen the new Black Panther movie? Um, it had this awesome twist in it that it just blew my mind. So yeah. now I already paid my money to go and see the movie. Okay, yeah. cool. But now I'm telling my friends about it. And I don't, I don't feel bad. I would share this with anybody over the internet because it was good and had a plot twist and it was awesome. Yeah. But now because I went and I gained that experience, I don't mind sharing it. It's the exact same thing with affiliate marketing. It's exactly wow. the same thing. Literally. That's awesome. When you explain it like that, that's so cool. It, it just, because I, I never know how affiliate marketing works. 
but you kind of right. just explain it in like a nutshell. It's pretty good. I like it a it lot. That, that I mean, I'm telling you that 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 is exactly what it is. We do it all the time for Every free. Day. We do it yeah. for free. Like you going? I to did it with you. Huh? With the car? Yeah. With the Honda car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Dave ended up uh, helping me out get a car by explaining some stuff that like I'm like, who go where? I was like, this is my friend. He's over at Honda. You know, go talk to him. <laughs> Oh yeah, and boom. Andy, yeah, man. I get yeah. over there, and this guy he has this accent that is just like Transylvania. Yeah, and I didn't trust him. He's <laughs> like, yeah, you, you know, give me social security number. I, 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 I run, it, I run your credit. I give it back to you. You're like, mm, um, trust me. <laughs> hey, Dave. <laughs> like, Dave, uh, this Transylvanian dude wants to run my social security. No, nah, no, nah, he's cool, man. He's cool. He's like, yeah, it's no problem. Man. Yeah, give me number. I give, I give back to you. Go, go, go. Look for a car. See what you want. Okay. Yeah, it's no problem. It, it, it's like, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, I got a car. I went home that night with a car, and it was no. Get, Dave didn't get any money from that. Right. We do. Wait, free. I did get a finder's fee. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I see. See, you can't trust Dave, y'all. Sometimes. No, I really did. He did. I really okay, did. I really did. did. Yes. Okay, it's like, I think it's like a, a hundred bucks for every good. car. Right, for so, real? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Nice. I think Honda. Did, yeah. There's affiliate marketing, and he told me he's exactly. like, "You just did it." And I was like, "I did it." And he's like, "Yeah, that's it." Yeah. Oh. And, that's and, and because it was so easy for me, I could explain it to him, and it was like, "Boom, that was it." Like literally. But that's affiliate yeah. marketing. That's affiliate marketing one on one. And I'm always talking to a million people. Always. <laughs> Listen, Queenie, you don't understand. This guy knows people in places that needs to be on this podcast. Literally all the time. <laughs> like he's talking all the time. And I'm like Here I'm quiet because again it's my face, but I don't know. See sorry. See, this is why you can't trust Dave sometimes, because Dave be serious. All right, I learned this about Dave, right? When Dave, if his lips is, are moving, <laughs> if, if Dave looks at you like at the end of his sentences, don't trust him. <laughs> if Dave gives you a one word answer, it, you know it's true. So it's like he he talks to these people. I'm like, bro, I know him, bro. I, I've heard of them. I know where that restaurant is. I know that place. I, you know, it's like, why, why are you not? like explaining he could be so much further ahead but it's the work the work has him like now he's got a vacation in him he feels good he'll probably jump on do something a little bit later on i don't know but dave has been rocking and he knows this stuff and every time i explain it to him he's like i know exactly what that is or he'll tell you two months later dude we should do this Oh, 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 yeah, that was funny. David, we already do that. <laughs> oh, oh, we do? <laughs> that was in October. He brought. He told me about the whole idea for this show. And what, in uh, January, I said, yeah, we should do this. That's the point of our show. I'm, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a little slow when it comes up. Nah, you know. you're not slow. You just, <laughs> you, you, just you, you hear the gaps of information because David, he... he he wants to do things. It's just that he's like steps ahead here, and then he'll he'll backtrack and be like, "We're, we're actually doing this. I think we should be doing this." And he's like, "No, nah, bro, we we <laughs> we've been doing that for for, for months now. Uh, don't worry, you got this. You got this." <laughs> well, mm-hmm. let's get off Dave. Let's get off Dave. I don't. I don't he, he's blushing again. We don't want to do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> so Let's transition. I know your face got to be hot, right? Mm-hmm. Who's in that sun? Oh my goodness! We're gonna get you out. All right, of let's here. go. Come on. We're gonna get you out. <laughs> of here. We, we might have to edit a couple of these parts. You know. Let me see here. All right. So lead magnets. So, you want me to take this, Queenie? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> all right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm not even gonna steal the screen because I'm trying to do all this uh, production over here on the side. This. It's not working for me because everything is all split up on the side of the screen. Evie Monks is such a good program. I love it. But uh, 
I'm gonna have to work with this a lot more on the side. This is another awesome tool that you can use. So lead magnet. So what what basically is a lead magnet? They you know what that is. Yeah, it's a lead magnet. Pulls people in like magnets. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> lead magnet. No, that's not. That's not. You can't do that now. I, only I can use my my cheat sheets and answer. I don't have anything here. I got garbage over my desk. I'm just like thinking. I'm like, wait. <laughs> a lead magnet. Was that like the funnel thing where you put your information in? Basically, yeah. So okay, good. All right. So a lead yes. magnet is something that attracts, right? You want to attract people to your offer or to to even get attention but it's a value for value trait right so oh, is that like, is that the free pdf yeah, yeah. basically okay. so when, whenever you all right so how can i explain this okay no 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 the one guy who uh gave me that pdf for the basketball there you go i told you mm -hmm. he says i'll give you a couple pages of a basketball thing check it out and if you mm -hmm. like it come back and buy more and i did and i ended up buying stuff yeah and that's typically how the e-magnets work but let's break it down for them at home or break it down for you at home if you're curious as to what a lead magnet is so it's a value for value trade right the affiliate marketer which could be yourself or the person that you're interacting with has valuable information that they're willing to give you for free or for a discounted price right you as the potential customer and or lead right have valuable information that you can trade for that. What's that valuable information? Your contact information. That could be an email, that's most common, or text or, or a phone number or your name. Typically it's all three, but you know, it depends on what kind of marketing you plan on doing after you get that information. So you trade your information for their valuable information. So you get a little bit, they get a little bit and it's an even trade. So with that, you create something as an affiliate marketer, you want to create something like a checklist or a guidebook or maybe some bonus videos or something that you can give your, your uh, potential customer and or buyer information that can help them further in whatever it is that you're dealing with, or whatever you're marketing. So if you're marketing something in the health category, you'll be like, all right, I've given you a check, a checklist on the 15 things that you need to avoid when you're trying to work on weight loss, you know, this, 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 and this. And then there's like a little bonus in there. Maybe you want to slide in the back end of that and say, hey, if you're able to, you know, uh, lost my train of thought. No. <laughs> Why? No. No, so, I hate, hate when my brain go ahead take over uh, no you're good so just like what you're saying right that's exactly provide value so your mm -hmm. lead magnet will eventually because you have a bomb lead magnet you will generate leads mm -hmm. so just like what we talk about in the beginning how to generate leads that is one of the ways so when you have a lead magnet for instance me when i just start off affiliate marketing and i learn all this information i'm like okay cool what is my lead magnet? What can I give? I decided to create an ebook for beginners. Mm -hmm. So I needed to know, okay, what did I needed to know a couple months back, three months back, four months back? And then I'm like, okay, cool. I needed to know this, this, this. Let me create something for persons who are now coming on so that they can get the knowledge that I have. So I created an ebook with all the information in it. And now as I make my videos, I say, if you want to learn more about affiliate marketing, Go ahead, click the link in my bio. I have a free ebook that teaches you how to do affiliate marketing. Now, of course, if you want to learn affiliate marketing, you're going to go and download that free ebook. But in order to get the ebook, you have to put in your, e your name and your email. So that way I can have your contact information so that later on I can do email marketing. But that's a fun next. That's fun next. <laughs> that's fun next. <laughs> that's fun next. <laughs> later on but that is how it actually work and that's how you can generate more leads is by providing that value to them um providing that lead magnet as well yeah hmm. that's it thank you for taking over because my brain took a hike on me no, you're good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> my brain just wandered off like a uh, biden did just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just 
just left. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow. So all right. So with the lead magnet, what right. are the different types of lead magnets? Oh, that's that's nice. Okay. There is so much. No, I prob it probably had different names for it, but I probably don't know the names for it. But I would just give you an example of the different lead magnets I have come across. Cool. So far in my affiliate journey. The most common one is an ebook. Mm -hmm. Right? A PDF, an ebook, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you can do a uh, ebook in whichever field you're in. If you're doing hair, if you're doing natural hair, mm -hmm. then you, you, you create a guide or ebook on how to how to grow your natural hair, how to grow your mm -hmm. hair. So that way you have step by step. Um, you can create a checklist. So that's a nuts one. The next one that I've recently saw is actually a mastermind. Mm -hmm. So it's literally a recording of, let me say this session that we do, mm -hmm. and it, it these on how to generate leads. Mm -hmm. Now I could take this recording and say, guys, we created a, um, I have a mastermind on how to generate leads. Click the link in my bio. So now I take this, and I will email this to them when they put in their information. So it's literally a video as like a mastermind in any topic. How to make money online, how to generate leads, uh, how to hike, how to, I don't know, any, anything <laughs> depending on your niche, right? So you could do a mastermind. Um, you could do, I see people do hooks. Because in content, you want to learn how to hook your audience in the first three seconds of any of your videos. So... There is movement, of course, you can do quick movement, but there's words and phrases that you can say that will get their attention to actually stay on your video instead of scrolling. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing you could do as a lead magnet. There's so much. <laughs> oh, wow. I only know about the, uh, the, the book, the PDF oh, book. Okay. Yeah, nah, there's a lot more. So, yeah, uh, you, can, you can use anything. It, it really depends on you and what you think that will be of value to your audience. So go with that. What do you think will be what will be valuable to my audience? You could do anything. And if you have an audience, you can just simply ask them. Hey, exactly. What do y'all need help with? Oh, I need help with this. The, the 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 answer that you get back the most, that's what you make for a lead magnet. That's mm -hmm. what you use to create information to give to them. And you know, it can be free or you can actually charge for it at a discounted rate. Right? Yeah. Uh, there was a podcast I was listening to last night. Um, they were uh, talking about how they made like a lead magnet for like a book for like ten dollars, and that ten dollar book turned into uh, I think like a two thousand dollar offer. What? So yeah. So what? what instead of just exactly, they, they they bump it up. So the best way to all right, so let's use uh, Queenie's grocery store analogy, right? When you're at a grocery store and you're going in, you're going to go get bread and eggs. That's it. That's all I'm there for. Why is it when you get to the register, they have all of this stuff right in front of your face and you're like, Ooh, <laughs> that looks good. Grab that. Get, oh, let me get this. Oh, yeah, that's right. I am thirsty. Let me grab this, you know, and then you walk out of there spinning up all these other things. That's that's strategic marketing. That's like upsells that you have. So what happens is the guy, he had the book. He said, hey, cop this book for 10 bucks and it's going to help you out. Da, 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 da. Put your name and email in. Do, 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 do. Done. And then when they get, they get to the thank you page, it says, hey. Congratulations, you got your book, check your email, but check this out. I'll give you a one-time offer on this discounted da-da-da-da-da. And they can choose to purchase it right then and there. The best time to get people to purchase more from you is when they've already purchased from you. So you can double, triple, quadruple your sales if you have the good valuable things that people need and they already understand you they know you they trust you you can turn that into a viable income for yourself and for your family and you're not taking from anyone because we have this negative connotation attached with charging people for information 
if you want anything in life, like you literally give, you dump thousands of dollars into a college, right? Yep. That pays you for, inf that, like you have to pay them for information from people who aren't even doing the job that you're trying to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm here to learn how to do this. Well, this guy's been here for 42 years and he's the best at teaching this subject. Oh, really? How long did you work in there? No, no I, I, I've been here teaching it for 42 years. <laughs> no wait, experience. Wait, you don't have no experience with you teaching this class? No wonder when I graduate, I get out here in these streets and people be like, sorry, you ain't got no experience. You need to go and do an internship or something. So it's like people are willing to pay for that, but they're afraid of paying other people for information. Like you see somebody actually out there working, doing it, grinding, getting what they need to get to get stuff done. And then they say, hey, if you want the information I'm giving you, hey, this is all you have to do is pay. It's a no brainer. That's how you grow faster. But mm. it will only come from building trust, building value by actually getting in front of people every single day as often as you can, letting them know, hey, look, you trust me. I'm not going to lead you astray. This is the same stuff I'm working on. This is what I'm doing. I'm just here to help the people who want to be helped. If you don't want to be helped, hey, move on, stroll, whatever you need to do. But the people who want, hey, this is where you can find me, my crew. This is what we do. Anyway. Yeah, I like your videos, too, on your Instagram. Oh, thank you. They've been looking really, really good. Yeah, so. man. This, this little light filter in here, man, I... I get the camera all closed, yep. all that kind of stuff. And Lighting's usually, good. The <laughs> sound is good. Really, you know, I, Queenie again. This, <laughs> this, she's been helping out. With the thumbnails been helping out. With the sound quality. She's like, turn down your sound. Your music is loud, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, okay. All right, let me, let me turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no, no, hey, listen, listen. Queenie has helped us out so much. You y'all really don't know. She is an individual that is she she put her work ethic in everything she does. So when she when she brings something, when she's delivering information mm -hmm. to you, don't don't take it for granted. Like she's actually trying to help. She is legit trying to help. Like at first I'm like, yo. And she was like, yeah, just get on here, change the thumbnail like this girl sent me like a little password to get into her Canva account. I'm like, what planet is this? Man, forget that. Here's my password. <laughs> you get my affinity designer. Here, you take that. You ain't going to one-up me. <laughs> <laughs> and she still ain't using it. <laughs> no, I... I'm just messing with you. And that's because I haven't... <laughs> This week, I'm going to try my best to create some videos Girl. for my YouTube channel. So, yes. <laughs> chill, chill. I'm, that was me poking. I'm just no, you're good. Hey, Affinity is awesome. You better hurry up and put it in. That that, that he, program's awesome. Queenie, he's the one that turned me on to Affinity. Affiliate marketing <laughs> again. See, I did it. Yeah. I made him buy it. Again? Exactly. Okay. I am so sorry. This is just off topic. But because I'm a mom, <laughs> mm -hmm. you just know set a phrase. Hurry up and put it in, and all I heard was Miss Rachel. <laughs> put it in. Put it in. <laughs> put it in. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, but what you're saying is so true, and that's what makes me, I don't hesitate to actually buy something from someone because I know their time is very important. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, your time, literally that's what you're paying for. Your time is very important. And a lot of people come on and be like, oh, so do I have to pay faith? Yes, yes. you have to pay faith. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I put my time and my energy into this because I told them, I was like, when you're going to school, when you're going to college, do you say, oh, do I have to pay tuition this semester? No, you actually pay. And then you have books on top of it that you probably don't even have used. Let me be mm -hmm. honest. I have bought mm -hmm. so much books that I never use. I went For through college. college, got my degree, mm -hmm. and I realized that I can't remember one thing that was... that. I, <laughs> remember anything wow. that i was taught i mean there were certain things but i took so much classes that wasn't pertaining to my major that mm -hmm. i'm like why am i even doing this yeah 
and finish school and catching my behind to get a job after after mm. i spent so much money and so much time into getting my degree now mm. i come here learn a skill but in two weeks and make money from it, make more money than I made with my degree. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. So you don't I'm need college. Make it make sense. No, actually, you don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not telling someone, don't go to college, if but a, doctor, a lot of people think, oh, you want to be a doctor, go to college. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> A lot you want of to build people bridges say, go to college. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. A lot if you of people want to sell anything, you don't need to be. Yeah, yeah, if you want to be a doctor, I understand you need to go to college, whatever. But I feel like a lot of people will come out here and say, Oh, affiliate marketing is a scam. I'm like, okay. How is that scam though? School is a scam. I, I, I almost <laughs> I almost felt like that. I almost did feel like that because it, it was almost like a pyramid thing to me. I don't oh, know. Oh, because it, because it, yeah, I guess it didn't. And now, how do you feel about it? Now I like it. It, it makes sense. You know exactly. I, I do it like Roger says. I do it every day. I do it every I day for free. I'm doing it right now. Where's that Nike? Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It, we do. You want to buy my wig? <laughs> 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 no, it's true. How much people say? I have friends who say. Tag hanging out in the back. You know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> my friends reached out to me and was like, oh my goodness, that's your hair. I was like, no, it's a wig. They're like, send me the link. I was like, hold up. Let me become affiliate for this company and I will send you the link. <laughs> there you go. No, I thought that was your, your hair. It's a wig. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh -huh. It's mine because I bought it. But that's. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just want to help people understand that a lot of people might think certain things as a scam, but you need to put in your, you need to do your research. Mm -hmm. You can't take what everybody else is saying on the internet and think, okay, well, they say it's a scam. You're going to miss out on a great opportunity because I have so much times when I thought this didn't work and I miss out big time. So I, I make it my duty. If someone tell me about some, I don't mind taking uh, 15 minutes out of my day to actually find out about it before i say okay this is a scam or whatever the case might be and um, for all my years i went to school i mean i went to school since i was four years old i've been in school wow. four years up to 25 years That's a long time. Mm -hmm. for what I, uh. for what like i asked myself for what, what did i learn i didn't have learned to read and write in school i learned that on my own to be honest, because while I was going to school, I struggled with reading and writing up until the age of 13, 14, 15. Mm. I couldn't read or write properly. And I had to, I teach myself that. So I didn't learn that in school. I didn't learn that from any other teacher. Wow. So what exactly I went to school for? I think it was just Meet a new friends. Year. I mean, that's too, yeah. <laughs> I think it was just a big year to go on your parents need to do what they need to do. But we just been taught so much society say, do this, and that's what we um programmed to do. We go to school, we learn, we're supposed to do those things, and then find a job and work for someone. Now, I'm not saying that a lot of us work for people, but there's a different way to do things now. Yes. You can make money, and there's not a cap to how much you can make. You can be your own boss. Yes. But right. it takes time and energy and effort to do so. Everything. Yeah. It, it does. It does take time, energy, effort. You cannot. You cannot just show up and, and expect for somebody to hand you money. OK, you actually have to put in this yeah right <laughs> you, you have to put in the sweat equity right you have to put it in you have to put in the sweat equity to get it done and what i mean by sweat equity especially if you're doing any kind of online uh marketing or research i mean marketing or business you need to study like you're in school the, the difference is there aren't right or wrong answers mm -hmm right in school we are taught to learn the answers that they've provided for you right and when we get those answers then they judge it whether it's right or wrong when you out here doing affiliate marketing 
doing any kind of uh business online if you're sharing content if you're just trying to just grow whatever if you got a fruit cart if you you're trying to grow your business you own a restaurant there's no right or wrong answers there is you won this week or you uh didn't win this week but you have to learn from your mistakes because your mistakes are going to be your biggest teachers right if you do something and it's not working Go back to the drawing board, figure it out, or you pay somebody to help guide you there. You pay a coach, you uh, pay for a course, right? You have to come out the pocket at times. Don't don't think that you could do this completely for free using YouTube videos. Every now and again, you're going to get some gems. Every now and again, you're going to get some real information that's going to like actually help you that is free and you know as an affiliate marketer myself the information that i give is the information that i'm using every single day to do what it is that i do right but if you want to go higher you're going to have to pay an individual to show you the step-by-step method especially a coach or somebody who's trained plenty of people and they know how to just look at you or understand what you're doing and say okay you need to do x y z don't deviate do this and you'll watch we'll, let's see how things grow when you do something like that oh my goodness you, you skip all of these levels and you skip a lot of headaches but there's no shortcuts it's just a straight line there's no hacks there's no no uh what, what, what else <laughs> what's those shortcuts, other terms anything. besides shortcuts and hacks you know some kind of way to kind of game the system oh let me do it like no the shortest distance in between two points is a straight line mm-hmm. I, I even did a, a content video how do you make more content by making more content <laughs> that's how you make more content uh, how do I be consistent oh okay do it every day until it becomes natural that's how you do it they, you, you should sell that in a pdf <laughs> <laughs> i will because here's the thing that's the thing a lot of people mistake by they, they make a mistake by looking at other people's success and then they try to like put themselves in this position like they must have did something I didn't do. There, that is, there is some truth to that. They are doing something that you're not doing. Typically, it's the things that you don't want to do that you're avoiding doing. That's what they're doing to get there. <laughs> it it, it yeah. really is. Like, we'll look at, we, you look at somebody bodybuilding, they all shredded muscles all this kind of stuff they, uh, they they got all kind of veins running through their arms you're like yo man what did you do i worked out every day i ate clean and uh i kept myself healthy is that all <laughs> <laughs> yes for most people yes so the hard work comes through when you put it in that sweat equity is going to come to through for you spending some time studying looking at the uh, looking at what you're trying to learn doing what you're doing that that's what i said the learn do teach method is the best method of doing anything you learn it you do it and then you teach it and if you rinse and repeat that process you can stand to make a lot of money because so many people don't want to do that process and all you got to do is just help other people do this very same thing that is so true mm -hmm. definitely when i taught you the autocad yeah i did like it it was crazy they taught me everything i knew and i was actually remembering some stuff (laughs) so it's called you know the bible says something uh about making sure that you were other believers and it says uh it uses a term it uh, uses a phrase says iron sharpens iron right when you rub a rough surface against another rough surface especially a blade it's going to get sharper but there's some friction there there's some some like hey it's gonna be hard it's not gonna be fun 
it's those things that you're doing in the time when nobody is watching you that shows up when everybody is watching you. It's the like stuff that. that you do in your private time that is going to show everybody in the world. Abraham Lincoln said, if you give me six hours to chop down a tree, I'm going to spend four hours sharpening the axe. Oh, wow. So I got this, yeah. um, I, I read this thing. You said both said <clears throat> he trained for, okay, let me just say four years. He trained four years to, <laughs> to run how much seconds? Let me just say 13 seconds. Uh -huh. Four years. He yeah. trained just to run that 13 seconds. Yeah. Or whichever. Four years of training. We have to put in the work at the beginning in order to see the results. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, this is why I'm glad this is the asset episode. Because if y'all not understanding, the things that we're talking about right now, it helps you get the assets that you need. Passive gains don't just come because you want them to come. You got to put in the elbow grease. You got to put in some late nights, some early mornings. And I'm not trying to scare people away. I'm trying to mentally prepare you that if you want to be here, it's Sunday. We're, we're recording this right now. It's Sunday night. It's 8.57 p.m. I got to be up at 5 something in the morning right now. But I'm here. Why? Because I want to create a future for myself. This is what it takes. You don't just do this. David is sitting in wet clothes right now. He just came <laughs> straight from the beach looking like Larry the Lobster from SpongeBob. He looks terrible over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but he's here. Queenie got her hair done. You know, she's just sitting there like, oh, all is well. You know what I mean? All is well. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here. And it's 6 p.m. for you, so I ain't worried about you, Queenie. What? It is? Yeah, she's like two hours behind us. No, it's seven. Oh. It's seven. <laughs> it's 6.58. Right. Seven. It's 6.58. Yeah. So we got about five minutes left. So what I do want to uh, kind of just drive this point home, that in order to create leads, in order to create any kind of information that's going to be of value to you, the individuals that you're going to attract, you're going to need to take the time and study it. Whatever you're working on right now is your content. Whatever you're studying right now is your content. Whatever you're doing right now to prepare yourself is your lead magnet. It's not rocket science. Trust me, I made it rocket science for the longest time. I would look at this and be like, man, what are these people doing? Just learn something, do it immediately, and then teach it. Learn, do, teach. Learn, do, teach. Learn, do, teach. Honestly, what'll be what'll happen is you'll be learning and doing so much that when you teach it, it looks effortless. People be like, whoa, you're so smart. You'd be like, man, man, don't be, I'm smart. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so serious. Like, I really want everyone to understand this. Like, it's nothing magic. It's nothing magical or mystical. It's all hard work. But you got to be willing to put in the work to get the time, to, to get it all done. Any thoughts, to everybody, before we wrap up? Me? Roger. Oh, yeah. Do you have one? <laughs> you want to go? Go ahead. Oh, no. I was wondering. Are you next to a truck? Me? <laughs> Cause, somebody. Because I keep hearing it. I'm like, what is that? That's, that's Queenie's heater that she got on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but sometimes I'm like sitting there laughing, and I'm like, oh, it crap. Like somebody's truck is on. I didn't know you guys because I asked at the beginning if you could hear it. I didn't know you. Could. I don't know. It got. It did get progressively louder, and louder we, toward the end. <laughs> yeah, oh like, wow! I don't yeah, know. I thought I'm it was sorry. A truck too. No, I thought I, <laughs> yeah, we, and I kept laughing. I'm like, "What is that? Is that me? Am I just hearing something?" No, I'm just My cool because I was not black in here. Uh, Whoa! So 
I'm a, I'm a, yeah, she's in Utah, dude. So. Oh, that's I mean, right. I forgot. Yeah. So what <laughs> we're gonna do is I'm gonna become an affiliate on Amazon, and then I'm gonna send you a link to the uh, heat, heated to, blankets. No, to some <laughs> heated. No, 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 no. Not the heated blankets. The sound panels that we have in the uh, room. <laughs> Yes. Oh, <laughs> okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go right no, no, no. <laughs> Get her the little heater with the little fan, the one that the girl stole from me at, at the office. I think it was like uh, Hannah. <laughs> Maybe I need to Such get a new one that doesn't make so much noise. No, nah, you good, Queenie. You good. Uh, <laughs> if it's facing your legs right now, then the reverberation is coming from the walls behind you. Concrete ah. or those cinder oh. blocks, they have a very high reverberating rate. So if you was to rip the entire carpet out of that room and whistle, you'll probably blow your eardrums out. No, no, no. Seriously, though, I got that one little heater. All it did was get hot. I didn't hear anything and the heat was hot as hell it was on amazon i can't remember which one it was like 20 bucks 20 bucks see i'm affiliate marketing right now yeah. you can sign up for <laughs> amazon affiliate oh my goodness guys it's so yeah. much you can do <laughs> yes you can actually yeah, yeah, yeah. is that yeah, the yeah. fba fba uh, no all you need to do is sign up for amazon associates so if you go on amazon affiliate when they click on it they will tell you to sign up and it's three steps but you do need a social media or website mm. oh okay yeah, so yeah, he's, he's, I don't have any of those. those. He's got yeah. all of those. Don't don't listen to him. I've been paying for a website for five years and never <laughs> never had a website on it. Maybe for a couple of months. I actually know my wife's website. That was up for eight months. Yeah, now his wife until she forgot to pay the domain name. His <laughs> wife is an exceptional writer. Like she she writes. Now I'm talking about writes good. Like she can put together some copy. I guarantee you, if Heather like learned copywriting, you oh, guys yeah. could be could be quadrupling your home income. If she yeah, she loves to write. She yeah. No, is. she did that. She she wrote for Porsche, um, a couple of these cars. She hated cars, mm -hmm. <laughs> but she wrote for them and a couple other sites. You That's how that we got our point? mattress for free. Yeah. We got our site for uh, our bed mattress for free, the Lisa mattress. I was. Yep. I remember when they got that. Yeah, actually, Queen, it was a dollar. Amazed, it was a right? dollar. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, no, cause okay. Why are you saying that? I'm thinking about all the ways she can make money. Sorry, <laughs> that's me. Cause right now, you know how much there's some called. Sorry, hopefully we ain't go over too much. There's some called UGC, user generated content, is where you, like me or your wife, make content for brands, right? But mm -hmm. since your wife don't need, she don't need to make the content. She can actually write the script for the persons who making the content. So all she needs oh. to do. People pay loads of money. She just writing scripts for persons to make content. So I'm the one who like to make content. Like we say, I make content for this, this brand. So this brand would reach out to someone to write the script for them. And they would give that same script to all everyone who is actually creating content for them. Hmm. So she's out of I, business though. Exactly. Because, no, no, no. She's out of business because chat GPT already did that. <laughs> you just say, it write is. a script for me. Listen. Well, um, oh, a lot that? of brands, they're not, they're not going to put in the work. They're going to outsource um, someone to write it for them. And because she uh, knows ChatGPT, she can use ChatGPT with... Um, and the thing is, there's a certain way you need to write the script. So, yes, uh, ChatGPT is good, but there's a certain way you need to write it. should be in order for it to um, not come off too salesy or whatever the case might be. So, yeah. yes, you can use that, but you need your human tweaks to it. But, yeah, she can do yeah, that. Yeah. It's crazy. I, I was telling her about that. The chat GPT just to brainstorm and yeah, then feed off of that crazy. and then tweak it in your own words. Exactly. Listen, that's how we that that's how we was working this week, right, Queenie? Yeah, it's just so <laughs> much listen guys, you can make so much money online is a matter of putting in the work up front and then relaxing later on. Yeah. I don't want to be sixty plus years and working at Walmart. Mm -mm. I've seen it, I've seen People who look older than 67 packing my bags. And I'm like, why are you working? Yeah. Like, you should be enjoying the rest of your life. Yeah. But because they didn't put in the work up front, then they end this up. Is what you have, yeah. That's yeah. What, exactly. So for me, if I need to sacrifice five years now so that I can relax later on and I can spend with my kids and my husband and my whole family, I'm going to do that. Yeah, those yep. five years going to pass anyway exactly yeah <laughs> <laughs> so with that we want to say thank you for watching 
I didn't do the usual intro tonight, so I'm going to use it as an outro. Thank you for being on Passive Games for Life, where we focus on mindset, skill sets, tool sets to get you the assets to create Passive Games for Life. I've been your host, Roger. We got Queenie. We got Dave. Steve is out there in the Netherlands right now. He'll be back soon. But we want to thank everyone for attending. And, hey, be on the lookout because we are working on our own lead generation that we're going to be creating. And we're going to be putting together some very good information for you guys so you can help. So you, so it can help you understand what we know a little bit more. So be on the mm-hmm. lookout for that. And, hey, thank you again. Roger, Q the music. All right. Good job. We're going to end this broadcast. I'll see y'all later. Don't go nowhere, right. guys. We got to talk after good this. Good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>